Hello, hello. Hello, Brendita. Hello, hello. Hello, Eric. Hello, Miss. Hello, Good Brenda. Evening. How are you? Good evening. It is a pleasure to have you here in another class, another opportunity for us to continue learning. Good. Eric, where are you studying languages? Again? No, where are you studying languages? ¿Dónde estás estudiando uh, idioma? I study language in Masferrer University. Masferrer University. Okay, very good. Excellent. Continue preparing, continue preparing. We need very good English teachers in the world. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, Brendita, Ana Beatriz, René, Rosa. Hello, teacher. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And let me share my screen because we're going to be working today. Um, I send you a link to your WhatsApp containing the different professions and occupations. I don't know if you had the opportunity to see it. Tuvieron la chance de verlo un poquito? Yes. You didn't check the WhatsApp group? Me han dejado ahí eh, silenciado el grupo por un año. Ajá. Ajá, ajá. Ahorita lo están abriendo todo, vea. So, I send you the link for the professions and occupations. And who needs help? There is a person who needs help. It says Alex Duran. Alex, how are you? Are you here? No, he's not here. Connect to the class, I'm going to say. <laughs> Alex is asking for help. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Brendita. You are helping your friend. Thank you very much. Tell him to connect to classes. <laughs> Good. So today we're going to be working on simple present. Did you have the opportunity to investigate a little bit about the use of simple present? Tuvieron la oportunidad de investigar un poquito cómo usar simple present? Uh huh. Yes, no, no, yes. Cri, 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 cri. Cuánto silencio. No, teach. My dear students. My dear students, what happened? Well, I am going to go a little bit uh, over this later on. Don't worry. So, remember our agreements for the class. Practice your English as much as possible. Be respectful and polite. Attend all your classes. Keep your cameras active. Work on the educational platform. Keep an active and cooperative activity on the WhatsApp group, right? This is important for us to remember every single day. Today, we're going to work a little bit on WH questions and statements and also professions, occupations, and simple present. I have a question for you today. What do you consider what do you consider the most dangerous profession? The most dangerous profession. What do you consider the most dangerous profession? A uh, policeman. A policeman. Uh -huh. Another profession that you consider dangerous? I don't know how to say a uh, bombero. How do you Please. say bombero? Who can help Eric? Please. Fireman. A fireman, uh, right? Yeah. Fireman, very good, yeah. fireman. Any other one? Any other profession that you consider dangerous? Uh -huh. The fireman, the police officer. Any other one? Only the two of them are dangerous. What about an electrician? 
an electrician, imagine if you plug something incorrectly, bye bye. Any other one? Google uh -huh. such as 10. Which one? Uh, dangerous uh -huh. profession. The first one is uh, commercial fishing, like uh, Alaska, for example. Yes. Fishing Centoya crowd. Yes, I mean, profession. it's a dangerous profession, right? This type of fishing that includes a lot of dangerous strategies and things and the waves and everything. It's very, very dangerous. Good example, Rene. What okay. profession do you consider challenging? What profession uh, do you consider challenging? Maybe you know? pilots. A pilot is good. Another one that you consider challenging? Players, I don't know, players. A player. Soccer players. A soccer player, it can be a challenging uh, profession. Yes, because I mean, you have all the, uh, the fans and everything behind you and you have to do a great job. Another profession that you consider challenging? Uh -huh. I don't know, a teacher? A teacher, for sure, because you never know the type of students you are going to have. Some students are very fantastic, exactly like you, and some other students are very difficult to teach. And some other students are very complicated. Some subjects are easy, some subjects are difficult. So that is challenging. Good. What about a doctor? What do you think? Yes, it's, 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 it's complicated. It's complicated, right? Yeah. It's complicated and for sure, your another life depends on you, right? It's yes. very, it is very difficult. What about the next one? What professions do you consider boring? Boring. Uh -huh. What professions do you consider boring? Well, for me, is architect. An architect. Okay, yeah. an architect. And maybe for the architect, is not boring, right? For me, right? Oh. Yeah, for you, it's a, an architect. It's boring, right? Good. What about an accountant? What do you think of that one? Accountant. Un contador. An accountant. Yep, a lot of numbers. It has a lot of numbers, right? It has a lot of numbers and a lot. Uh, I mean, it's very complicated. The, the fact that you have to take care of the money of a company. And maybe, maybe, um, say, 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 guard of Olympic <laughs> uh, athletic, maybe. <laughs> A lifeguard, a, a, well, a, a life lifeguard. saver, a lifesaver. Of for swimming, an, for, at, uh, <laughs> athletic swimming, maybe. For, for that the is, Olympics. Yes, <laughs> that is, maybe, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a boring job. Imagine the bodyguard, the bodyguard of being Diesel, for example. That's a hey. big, big guy. <laughs> and then the bodyguard, very little. I don't know. So we never know, right? Imagine the bodyguard of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's boring, man. <laughs> Fighting for with the bad Bye. boys. Okay, so that's a boring job. What jobs do you consider easy? They say, ah, that's easy. Uh huh. Secretary. A secretary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, a receptionist. A receptionist. Receptionist. Sometimes, right? Some, depending on, on where do you work. Yep. Yeah, it all depends on where do you work. Because imagine if you work for a very big company, it will be like, <laughs> like Monsters Inc, right? Monsters Inc, un momento, Monsters Inc. <laughs> Answering a lot of questions. And it will be very, very, very challenging. What about uh, the next one? What jobs do you consider rewarding? Rewarding is a job that you give something to the society and that you do something for other people. So you can say, what a beautiful job. I like it. Nurse. A nurse, right? A nurse. 
Good, very good. All the doctors that are fighting the pandemic, for sure, that it's really, really rewarding because it's nothing easy. A lawyer. Uh, a lawyer, right? A lawyer, when you save uh, an honest person, right? That's very good. Maybe a chemical engineer. A chemical engineer, yeah, the ones creating the vaccines and all that, imagine. Yes. So that's pretty awesome. Now, my question is, if you had the opportunity, if you had the opportunity to be something different to what you are right now, your profession, what will be your dream job? What fly attendant. Be your dream job. A fly attendant, says Crisia. Yes. What will be your dream job? I would huh? like to be a vet. A vet. <laughs> a veterinarian. Me yeah. too. Me too. I would love to I be love a veterinarian. Yeah. yeah, me too. Rosita, what will be your dream job? Um, <laughs> uh, think about it, think about it. Ya, ya vuelvo. Brenda, what will be your dream job? Actress and singer. Actress and singer. Hey, that's fantastic. Mr. René? I would like to be a doctor. A doctor. Yeah. Good. Wendy? Lawyer and singer. A lawyer and a singer. Adela? Um, lawyer. A lawyer. Rosa? Uh, Rosa, was well, she was thinking. Moises? Moises, Moises. Ana Beatriz, what will be your dream job? Enterprise and minister. Which one? Administrador de empresas. Ah, business administrator. A business administrator. Good. Gustavo? Teacher, how do you say um, athlete olimpico? Ah, Olympic athlete. Ah, Olympic athlete. Wow. Noel? Pilot. A pilot. Luis, what will be your dream job? <laughs> he's, the, he's just there visiting. Elmer? I will be a plane pilot. A pilot. A pilot, you say. A pilot. Good. What about Sarai? What will be your dream job? Uh, sorry, teacher. Acabo de entrar. What will be your dream job? ¿Cuál sería su eh, profesión ideal? Su profesión soñada. Um, what will be your dream job? Um, siempre me gusta. Nurse. Nurse. Siempre. Excellent. Yeah. Good, good, very good. Rosita. Manager. A manager, good, a manager. Crisia, oh, Crisia told me that she would be an actress or a, no, no, it was no, like no. a fly, fly attendant. attendant, a fly <laughs> attendant, right? She would be a fly attendant. I would like to be a veterinarian, definitely, like Eric. I love animals, I love animals, but I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't. But one day in the future, I am going to reach my dream to become a veterinary. So these are the different professions and occupations. We are going to use them later. In the WhatsApp group, I send you a big collection of professions and occupations that you can use later on if you want to refer to other uh, different profession. It has a definition. Yesterday, we were working in this conversation, right? You had a lot of fun in the conversation, I remember. And right now we are going to work on this short exercise. I need you please to take a screenshot to the exercise. Sáquenle una captura de pantalla a este ejercicio. Ahorita. Sonría, pues. 
there you go. Exercise. <laughs> okay, take a screenshot on this exercise. And what you are going to do there is to correct the sentences, okay? I am going to send you to work in groups of three and you are going to correct the sentences. I corrected the first one for you. He goes to bed very early and you, I need you to correct the rest of the sentences, okay? Analyze them, analyze the different sentences and correct the mistakes, okay? Necesito que todos los miembros del grupo tomen notas de las correcciones porque cuando volvamos lo voy a preguntar a todos. Todos van a contestar una. Okay, so I need you to work on the different, eh, okay, perfect. You are going to work on the different sentences, correct them, and when we come back, we are going to share one sentence each. No sabemos cuál le va a tocar, así que trabajemos todas con todo el grupo. Okay, que todo el grupo participe, que no sea solo una persona, ta, 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 correcting, no. All the group has to participate. Ana Beatriz, what a beautiful cat. <laughs> okay, let's go to the rooms. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> and we're going to correct the sentences. You're going to receive an invitation. Please accept my invitation for you to go to the mini groups and we start correcting the sentences, okay? There you go, accept my invitations. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. You are going to receive the invitation there for you to go to the mini groups. And once you are there, I am going to be visiting you in the groups. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And I think all my students are in the different rooms. Very nice. So what students are going to do in the rooms is to correct the different sentences that are presented here. They need to use simple present in order to correct the sentences. So let's go to the different groups to see how they are doing and how they are correcting this exercise. Okay, so we're going to go to group number one. Tienen un error y hay que hacer la corrección, encontrarlo y hacer la corrección. Exactly like that. Entonces eso sería la, la cosa. No copia, teacher. Mm, no, it's not possible. ¿No qué? <laughs> que les dé copia. Eh, pero esa, la puedo compartir la pantalla, creo yo. Yes, you can. No, eh, Noel quiere que les dé copia. No voy a sacar las tres, la otra. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead. Ahí está. Excellent. Yo les pasé a, a Word. Mm. Bueno, vamos a trabajar estas primero. Yo, yo tengo aquí a, a la par las caras. La uno ya, ya, la, ya estaba corregida, ¿verdad? Sería de la dos en adelante. La vamos leyendo y de ahí la... Las dos la, to the light in Canada. ¿Perdón? La dos es do they lie in Canada. Do they live? Ah, perdón. Live in Canada, la dos. Do they live? La dos, bye. Yo en el ejercicio anterior pensaba que usted decía tomar y yo, tomar. Ah, no, después sueño. <laughs> La tres. I am usually cook dinner for my family. Yo usualmente cocino. Cooking sería. I, uh, cena. I am usually cooking dinner for my family. Cooking. Mm -hmm. No, esperen. Cook, cocinar. Remember that we're using simple present. Simple present, you cannot say cooking. Perdón. Remember that we are using simple present. We cannot say cooking. Okay. 
So in this one, I am usually cook dinner for my family. It's not possible to say I am usually cooking. How are you going to correct that one? How do you correct number three? ¿Cómo corregiríamos la número tres? I usually. Exactly like that. I ah, usually. Sin el am, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Very good. Because you're mm. using a simple present. I usually cook dinner for my family. Usually cook dinner. Good. Oh Continue family. working. I am going to go and check the other groups, how they are doing, okay? Bye. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Thanks. La... Hi. Aha. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, teacher. Ajá, ¿qué pasa aquí? ¿Quién está compartiendo pantalla? Nadie. No, no, no. No, ya le estoy viendo en la fotito. Ah, ok, good, very good. Mm -hmm. ¿Podemos so, seguir? Yes, you can continue, go ahead. I am okay, here just checking. You. Ok, thank you, teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. Number eight sería Robert played baseball on the weekend. Ahí sería dos, ¿verdad? Ah, no, aquí no sé. Porque aquí Robert plays. Está bien. No, está está bien. Está bien, ¿verdad? Is it Robert, Robert plays? Is it correct? Plays. Robert. Ajá. Play. Play. But it says plays. ¿Ya leyeron cómo está escrito play? Eh, no, pero es plays nada más. Ajá. Ajá, exactly. Robert plays like baseball. Uh -huh. Exactly, that's the mistake. Ajá, uh -huh. Robert plays. No, en vez de solo les hay que poner ese y Excellent. quitar la E. Excellent, very good. On weekend. Uh -huh. Number nine. They has a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. Is they have. Very good. Continue working. I'm going to go to the next group. Lots free. Listen, listen, work. Ah. Ah, mala porque el works no tiene ese, realmente. Uh -huh. uh, what is what is the change that you're going to make there, my dear students? That is not works at a restaurant. Uh -huh. What is the negative form of simple present? The Jenny is. Ah, how do you how do you make it third person? What is the okay? ¿Cómo cambiaron la número dos? Mm, do. Ajá. Do they live in Canada? Do they live in Canada? Ajá. Mm -hmm. If you use the auxiliary do here, do they live in Canada? So, what about the yes. next one? What about the next one? If they say, do they live in Canada? How do you change the next one? Number 11. Where is the auxiliary? ¿Dónde tiene el auxiliary? Indeed. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the 11. Um, Number 11. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el no. negativo de las preguntas en simple present? Isn't. Doesn't. Very ah, good. Doesn't. Yay, Alexander. Yes, doesn't. Okay. Jenny. Doesn't. 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 Okay. Work at a restaurant. Work at a restaurant. Very good, very good. Yes. Okay. Continue with the next one. <laughs> I am going to go and check <laughs> to the next she, group. She, wor she worries too much. She worries too much. Very exam. good. She <clears throat> worries too much about the exams, they say. Let's go and see. Work. Hello. At a restaurant. Hello, Hello teacher. Uh huh. In Jenny. which sentence are you? Um, uh, en la en la seis? once estamos. Ay, Ay, pero seis. Teníamos la duda en la seis. Ajá. 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 Number six. Does Ajá. John has enough money? Uh -huh. What is the Does John have enough money? Does John have? Uh -huh. Because you have uh -huh. does is the auxiliary, uh -huh. so the verb uh -huh. is normal. Okay. No puede does haber... John no puede dos. haber dos verbos en tercera persona. Exactly like that. No. 
Y en la 11. Ajá. Is Jenny is not works. works. What is the negative form of simple present? Ah, don't. Doesn't. Ah, doesn't. Very good. You see, un empujoncito falta. <laughs> Jenny doesn't. doesn't. And work. as you have the negative auxiliary, uh, uh, so you say the normal in verb. Base. In the base form. Very good. Very good. Finish, please, because we are about to go back to the main group. I am going to go okay. to the next room to see how they are doing. Okay. okay. We are el último grupo. Okay. Thank you. Le vamos a quitar la. Y porque se queda callado. Siempre que entra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, teacher, yes. I have a question. Yes, question. In me. the in the the twelve, twelve, twelve. Mm -hmm. 12 uh, she worries. Mm -hmm. uh, change the es. Change the uh, y for ies. Uh -huh, yes. 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 Okay. She worries. Too much worries. about exams. Okay, mm -hmm. she worries too much about the exams. Okay. What about number 11? How did you change it? How did you change number 11? It's correct for us. Really? Or not? But <laughs> what is the negative form of simple present? Doesn't. Uh -huh. So is it correct? Oh. <laughs> But uh, ah, <laughs> Jenny doesn't doesn't work exactly. If you say Jenny is not work, Jenny no Jenny está no trabaja. <laughs> so it's like no. It's true. It's true. Okay, very good, very good. So uh, let me see. How did you change number nine? Nine. Mm -hmm. It's correct. They has. No, no. Change have. Aha, very good. Has. Number number nine, it's they have. They mm -hmm. have lots of free time. Okay. Finish, please, because we are about to go back to the main room. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Y ya nos sacaron. No. Se no. Ah, ah chispas. Oh. Did you finish? Entró. No. Ah. Number 10. Number 10. How do you change number 10? Yes. Por esa vamos, teacher. No, but how do you do it? ¿Cómo la cambiaría? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. right. The number right. six is correct. No. All of them are incorrect. Todas, oh, todas. Todas, everything. Every single one. Es que en ese tenemos dudas. Sí. If you have the auxiliary does. Does John. Si ya usamos el auxiliar does. Usamos el verbo, el verbo todavía. Está en es have. Exactly. Like that. El verbo es have. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Does John have enough money? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ya, yo queriendo, yo queriendo, yo queriendo parar a mi hijo para que no venga a las clases, pero ya vi que. No oh. se preocupe. Ah, ve el mío, ahí anda como que es terremoto, así <risa> como que le di, les comí mucho chocolate, niña. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yo aquí, y yo es aquí. Que como en la casa hemos estado enfermos, él está, cost, eh, acá tenemos un, uh, una para dormir. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces todos estamos así en lugares distintos de la casa, entonces él feliz, ¿verdad? en colchoneta, en colchoneta, en toda la casa. Oh my God. Ay, por fin la juventud, divino tesoro. Yeah. Bueno, ayer jugamos lotería, es lo importante. Ya, yeah. o sea, yo aquí lo paro cuando yeah. viene corriendo. <risa> si de repente ven que apoya el micrófono es porque viene, mamá, mira que no se cae el Y I'm like, ah, mi hijo es bien social. Sí, es que están, están chiquitos y, y, y cuesta, cuesta, yeah. quiero hacer, ¿no? Ok. Es, es, bueno, vea cuánto TikTok sale así, vea, pero. Yeah, I know. Eh. Yeah, I know. I, sí. Finish your sentences. Okay. We're going to go back Number to the 10. room in some seconds. Go ahead. Continue, continue. Okay. Pienso que tan. Ajá. Hello. Yo creo que tan. Do you need help? 
Necesitan ayuda. Finish. Are you finish everything? He goes to bed very early. Do they live in Canada? Good. I I do usually cook. Is it possible? I do usually cook. Ay, no, quizás no. Podemos tener dos verbos juntos. Podemos tener do y cook al mismo tiempo. I don't know. Ajá. Ahí pueden tener. I usually cook, pero no podemos tener do. Los verbos no. No. I usually cook. Very good. I usually cook. Ajá. And the next one, do. Do they have? Do. Do. Not, not to. Do. Aha, uh -huh, very good. She doesn't. How do you spell doesn't? Very good. Does John have enough money? Good, very good. He knows the answer. Robert plays baseball. They have lots of free time. Do they usually drive to work? Jenny doesn't work at a restaurant. She works too much. My father wants. Uh, why do you study English? He doesn't drink tea and they, they do. I start class in the morning. Mm. We they, don't need do. Do a start. They. No podemos decir do a start. Tenemos dos verbos juntos. They start. They start. Class Good. in the morning. They start class in the morning. Okay. My dear students, let's go back to the main session. No. Ese es el número ganador de la lotería. Espero que lo hayan anotado. <laughs> ok, good, 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 good. Welcome back to uh, the main group. Welcome back to the main session. Thank you for your answers in the groups. Thank you for participating there. That's very good. Okay, vamos a hacer el minuto de la hidratación aquí. Todos van a traer agua y toman agua. <laughs> el minuto de la hidratación. Agarre su botella y tome agua. Good. That's not, that's not water, René. That's Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay, my dear students. Let's see the answers that you have for the different sentences. Mr. René, you are going to give me number two. Wendy, number three. Rosa, number four. Brenda, number five. Eric, number six. Moises, number seven. Number four, me tocó. Ven y ayúdame. Ay, come on. <laughs> Trump. Moises, number seven. Christian, number eight. Ah, Gustavo, number nine. Albid, number ten. Elmer, number eleven. Alexander, number twelve. Sarai, number thirteen. Uh, let's see. Ana Beatriz, number fourteen. And let me see. ¿A quién no le ha asignado? I think I have a sign. Ah, Adela, number 15. And the last one is going to be for everybody. So, Mr. René, number two. I am going to share my screen so we can all see it. Okay, number two. Okay, that is wrong because that is do they live in Canada? Do they live in Canada? Very good. Number three. I am usually cook dinner for my family. I am. Necesitamos el verbo to be ahí. I. I usually. I usually. Perdón, perdón. Sorry. Yes. I'm usually cook dinner for my family. Uh, I usually. Right? I usually. Yes. Don't worry. I usually. I usually. Oh, sí. <laughs> Number four. I, I they have a meeting every week. No, simple present. How do you make number four? Four? 
How do you make number four? What is the change? Can I eat, please? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do. Do, do they have right? a meeting every week? Do they have a do meeting? They have. Do, do they, they have. have a meeting every week? Very good. Number five. Thank you. Number five. She doesn't like tennis. She doesn't like tennis. Very good. Number six. Uh, doesn't John have enough money? Ooh, we cannot have a negatives in questions. No. Does, no, does, doesn't al principio. Is does, does, does John, John have? Have enough have. money. Yep. Very good, very good. Pero dijimos doesn't al principio. Number really? seven. Sorry. Number seven. Um, es la que no quería que nos saliéramos, que teníamos dudas, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. No sé, tal vez, do, do he, he, no, este... No. Es que habíamos puesto el he is no. Mm -hmm. But the only Pero thing that you duda. have to do, the only thing that you have to do in number seven is to include the verb in third person. El verbo de ahí es no. ¿Cómo transformamos ah. el verbo no en third person? Ah, la is. La es, la es ¿verdad? Ajá. Yes. No. So you say he That's knows. Right. The answer. Very okay. good. Number eight. Number eight. Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Very good. Number nine. They have a lot of free time. They have. Very good. Number ten. Number ten. Ya no se acuerda quién le tocó el number ten. Okay, if not, everybody can help me. Number 10. Do they usually drive to work? Do they usually drive? Very good. Number 11. Jenny doesn't not work at a restaurant. Jenny doesn't work at a restaurant, right? Jenny doesn't work at a restaurant. Good. Number 12. She works too much about the exams. She worries, right? She worries, she worries. too much about the exams number 13 you my include, father you continue e a e s right i e s uh-huh worries worries okay. the next one today okay my father wants to travel to spain my father wants to travel to spain very good number 14 why do you study English? Why do you study? Why do you study English? Why do you? Very good. Number 15. Doesn't drink tea. He doesn't drink tea. He doesn't drink tea. And number 16, class, how do you change it? Without R. Without R. Very good. So you say they start class in the morning they, do. they start class in the morning you don't use r and you have the verb start right they start class in the morning very good job so very good job excellent so as you can see here right we were studying the general rules for the third person in the previous class right when you only add s the ones that you add ies and the ones that finishing o s s s h T C H X or X X, you include E S, right? Goes, washes, watches, mixes, kisses, etc. Right? And in the different sentences that you have here, if it is a normal subject, I, you, we, or they, you use the verb in the normal form. Son actividades que hacemos todos los días, actividades diarias, right? That simple present, right? I cook, I teach, I clean, I organize, I attend, we help. I coordinate, I write, I use. These are sentences in the normal form of simple present with normal subjects, I, you, we, and they. But what happens if you have sub, if you have he, she, or it? You make the changes in the third person form. How is the first one going to change? He? Cooks. 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 She? Teaches. Teaches, right? He? Cleans. 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 
she organizes. 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 Attend. Attends. 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 Help. Helps. Helps. Help. Coordinates. 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 Right. Coordinates. Right. 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 And use. Use. Uses. Uses. Right. Uses. Uh, uses. Uses. What happens if you want to make these sentences negative? Uh, what do you need to do? He doesn't. He doesn't. Very good. Doesn't you need to add doesn't, right? He doesn't. And the verb is going to be in the normal form. Mm -hmm. Si ya el auxiliar absorbió la tercera persona, does, ya el verbo pasa a su forma base. He doesn't cook. She doesn't teach. He doesn't clean. Eh, he doesn't organize. She doesn't help. He doesn't coordinate, he doesn't write, she doesn't use, right? What happens if you want to make a question? What do you have to do Negative. if you want to make a question? No. Does in, he? In does he exactly. Does he cook? Does he cook? Okay. In negative, no podemos hacer una pregunta en negativa. Doesn't he cook? No. Ya, ya le respondimos que doesn't, right? Él no cocinó. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. No cocinó él, no. 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 <laughs> does and do. Okay. Ocupamos los auxiliaries. Does and do. Does is for he, she, and it. And do is for I, you, we, they, any other plural subject, right? You use do. Does he cook? The answer is going to be yes or yes, no. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, right? Does she teach? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does she organize her bedroom? Yes, she does, or no, he doesn't. But what is the difference if you say, what does she teach? What ¿Qué is the lo difference? Que está ¿Qué es lo que ella enseña, right? She teaches English, mathematics, Spanish, whatever. But if you say, does she teach? Yes. What does she teach? Ah, she teaches English, right? We need extra information. Si ya le agregamos una WH question a este tipo de preguntas, ya necesitamos extra information, not only yes or no. Okay. Do I help? Do they coordinate? Do we write on the notebook? Do my students use the notebook? Right. So in this case, all the answers with do and does are with yes or no answers. But if you have questions with WH at the beginning of them, like for example, what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? Right? You have extra information questions. ¿Cuál es la respuesta para what do you do? What do you do? I am I am a I am a student. I am a student. A student. A student. And I have a part-time job. I am a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work, work at, at a restaurant. restaurant. I work at a restaurant, but I work in, in, a, restaurant. A, restaurant. in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I, I go, go to, to University the of Texas. Go to the University. I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She works at Thomas Thomas Cook Travel. Right. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guy. She's a guy. She's a guy. She, she takes, takes people on tours. She takes people on tours. Very good. And how does she like it? She, she, loves, loves, she, loves, she, loves, she loves it. She loves it. What is the difference between? What is the difference between these three questions and these three questions? The third person. The third person. Fantastic. Here you have, what do you, and in this one, where does Andrea? What does? How does, what does she do? 
how does she like it? Okay, these are in third person and the previous one are in first person, well, in second person uh, here you have, what do you do? You are asking another person. And in this one, you can say, I am a student, I work, I go, right? And here in the answer you say, she works, she takes, she loves it, right? Remember, do goes with specific forms and does with he, she, and it. Are you ready to practice again? Estamos listos para practicar de nuevo? Of course. Yes. Of course, we were born ready, you say. So in this one, we are going to have a little bit of individual practice, okay? Aquí si nos vamos a ir individualmente. Here you have three different exercises. I need you to complete these sentences and later on, we're going to check together on the different answers. I need you to read the answers of the questions. Read the answers for you to complete the questions. Here you have the first example. What do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin to the New York School of Music. Them a lot. Do you like your classes? I need you to complete the questions. Hagamos todos el número uno. Ahorita. Véanlo, analícenlo, háganlo en su cuaderno, escriban las respuestas. And then one volunteer can give me the answers. Where do you go to the school? Where do you go to school? Where? Okay, and where do you go to a school? How do you complement the next one? I go to the New York School of Music. I go yeah. to the New York School of Music. What about the next one? Oh. How? What? What? How do you like? How do you like? How do you like? Because you are looking for a manner. And it says, I love them a lot. I like. I like I them. Like. I like them a lot. What about number two? Analicemos el número dos. What does Tanya do? What does? Exactly like that. What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She? She does. She's a teacher. Class. She? She teaches, right? Very good, because she she's a teacher. Teaches. She teaches, right? She teaches an art class at school, at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? Where does he work? Very good. Where does he work? He? Work for a big company. He works. Works. He works. For a big computer company in San Francisco. In San Francisco. What does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? He's a website designer. He is. He's a website designer. He. He is. Works. What does a designer do? Hi. What? Design. Designs, right? He designs. He designs. He designs fantastic, fantastic websites. websites. Right? A designer designs. A teacher teach. teach. An accountant counts. Right? A builder builds. A programmer programs. Oh. So we have the different professions. Uh, what do you do? What is the answer for that one? What do you do? I'm a student. I studied the violin. I am a full-time student. I studied the violin. Very good. And where do you go to school? I, I go to the New York school, school of, of music. Wow. Do you like your classes? I, I like, like them. them. What does Tanya do? She is a teacher. She teaches, she teaches an art class, class at, at, school at the school in Denver. Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works, he works for, for a big computer company, computer company in San Francisco. Francisco. What does he do exactly? 
Okay, so give me information about one member of your family. Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend. And tell me, what do they do for a living? ¿En qué trabajan? ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué actividades desarrollan? Uh -huh. Give me one example. I can tell you, my father is an agronomer. My father is an agronomer. Can I teach you? And he works with a lot of animals. Go ahead. So, my girlfriend studies English too. My girlfriend studies English too. Good. Excellent sentence. Very good. Another person. Thank you, Eric. My boy, my boyfriend works a call center in English. My boyfriend works at a call center in English. Good. I don't have a boyfriend, right? It's Grecia's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, if my I husband, yeah, if my husband watches this video, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> 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 Let's see, huh? The next one. Rene, give me one example about one person in your family. But you wanna want, but you wanna wanna have a boyfriend? No, no. I don't know. No, no, no. We have uh, been we have been together for twenty years, so no. I, I, I don't have a girlfriend. Okay, I talk about my father. Uh, my father has a pharmacy. My father has a pharmacy. Okay, good, very good. A, another example about another member of your family. Rosa, give me one example. Mm, my brother works in the engineer. My brother works as. My brother works as an engineer. Very good. Give me another example. Hey, perdimos a René. ¿Qué se hizo? <laughs> no, he's right there. Okay, let's see. Uh, Adela, can you give me one example about your family? How do you say comerciante in English? Businessman. Uh, my mother is businessman. Ah, your mother, businesswoman. Yes. <laughs> my mother is a businesswoman. My mother. Okay. <laughs> okay, Wendy, give me one example. My husband works as an engineer. My husband works as an engineer. My husband Work. works as an engineer. Brenda. Mm -hmm. um, my husband plays the piano. My husband plays the piano. Very good. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, what is your example? Hey, we lost Ana Beatriz. Sarai. Um, my husband works as a technical in Claro Communication. Oh, great. My husband works as a technic, technical support, right? Or as a technician, yeah. as a technician yeah. in Claro Communication. So you see, we have contacts here. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> what is it? Oh no, Eric gave me his example. Moises. Um, my mother is visit uh, her uh -huh. No, visit my grandmother. My mother visits my grandmother. Yeah, that's an example in simple present, right? Not about a profession, but it's an example in simple present. Yeah, I will check it out. Crisia, well, Crisia Albarenga, give me one example. My, my daughter mm -hmm. is study, studies. Business administration. Business administration. Oh, your daughter studies business administration, or is just an example? But it's true. No, it's true. Oh, wow. It's true. And you are very young. <laughs> you are very young. Yes. <laughs> El Mercelaya, what is your example? My wife is a manager. My wife is a manager. Why? Very nice. Or my wife works as a manager. And Mr. Alexander Duran? 
uh, my wife works marketing. My wife. Hey, my wife works in marketing. Very good. Yeah. Ana Beatriz, welcome back. Hello. Give me, give me your sentence. Um, my mother is a typical dish cook. A typical dish cook. Hey, mm -hmm. you see, for the for the graduation, we're going to have this cena typica there. <laughs> but that would yes. be very nice. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. My mother works as a typical food chef. That can be to make it. That's very very nice. Excellent. Thank you for your examples. Now, to finish uh, the topics for the day, we're going to give a quick view to the prepositions at, in, and on, right? I know that you have um, used this before, that you remember how to use this one, but it's always good to refresh a little bit, right? It's always good to refresh a bit on how to to use them, right? I am going to move my logo here in the middle. Okay. Good. So we have at, in, and on. At is used for precise times, right? At 10.30, at eight o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast. In is for months, years, decades, centuries, and long periods of time. In 16 years, in 1991, in December, in the morning, in the afternoon, right? At night, you use night here, right? At night, you don't say in night, on night. No, you say at night. And you say in, in the morning, in the afternoon, right? In the afternoon, in the morning, right? At noon, you say, a mediodía, right? At noon, at midnight. At midnight. So you don't say in midnight, right? It's not possible. And on, you say, is for days and dates. On a summer evening, on Christmas day, on Christmas, on Friday, okay? So that's the way we use the three different forms. In these cases, we say at 10.30, at 8 o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast, at night, at noon, at midnight. Okay. ¿Cuáles son los ejemplos para in? In 16 years. In, in 16 yes. years time. In, in 1991. In December. In the, in the afternoon. In the, morning, in the morning. morning. What are the examples for on? On a summer evening, on Christmas day, on Christmas, on Friday, on weekend, on weekend, very good, right? On my birthday, on my birthday, right? On on weekends, on weekdays, on my birthday, right? On my birthday, and for sure, in you say in May, in September, in July, right? in August, in September, in October, right? You use for a specific months and you use in, right? You don't say on March, right? In March, you say in March, right? You don't say at 1991, you say in 1991. You don't say, Richard, yes? Y cuando es un lugar, por ejemplo, un centro comercial, o sea, un lugar es in. Okay, depending. If you say, I am at Metro Centro, you use no. it there. But if you are inside the place, in. you say, I am in Metro Centro. If you are inside the building, right? Si ya estás mm. dentro del lugar. So you say, I am in my house. Uh -huh. But if I say, in the hospital, uh huh. But in if you the... say, I am at the oh. hospital, maybe you are like outside or there in the, in the near the place, right? But that's, that's a very oh, good question. Supermarket. At the supermarket, in the supermarket, right? So you can use it there. At work, you can also use it, right? At work. So here we have a little exercise that is going to be your homework for tomorrow, okay? This little exercise that I am going to show you right here is going to be your homework for tomorrow. I am going to send you the image 
here. I am going to send you the image on the chat and I need you to complete the exercise for tomorrow, okay? You are going to complete these seven sentences with the specific preposition of time, right? You are going to use at, in, on, right? Around, early, late, and you have the example on top. That it's going to be for tomorrow. We are going to use that one in class, okay? So I am going to send that right now to your WhatsApp groups and I need you please to complete it, okay? So I am going to send it right now to your group in WhatsApp and please, I need you to complete the exercise for tomorrow, okay? There you have it. There you have the exercise and we are going to use it in class. So please don't forget to have it ready for tomorrow. Okay, my dear students. So there you have it. Ya lo recibieron todos. Ya está en sus yes. WhatsApps. Okay. Yes. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class to continue learning, to continue practicing. Okay, we're going to have a little reading tomorrow. So please advance on the platform. You can finish section number two. If you have any question, if you need any help, we're going to be more than glad to help you with that, okay? Have a beautiful night, rest a lot, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.